Welcome back, fellow adventurers. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing adventures in the Forgotten Realms. And we can come over here and check out our statues to us and trade meat. Pretty generic, but all right. Now, let's come over this way, I think. Yes. We're going to go to the inn. Messed up till daylight. I think that's best. Ah, haven't you ever seen a halfling before, dear? Don't gawk. It's a tragic sight on a famous adventurer like yourself. Nephine Samos, but you can call me um, Nephli. Or, yeah. They're doing the PH for the A, for the F, so it's Nephili. Are you a fought a hero of trade me? Pleased to meet your acquaintance. And I yours. My, my, you really are everything that you're, you're cracked up to be. Weird on the street is that you fought off the rabid animals attacking trade me single-handedly and then delivered the town from those tight-fisted genies of course i'm fairly sure you had help well dearie i suppose you had better get going hmm wait what are you talking about i thought i made that quite clean i'm joining you in your quest i'm a very good capable cleric and it's about time i use these old bones a mine for to do some good Um, adventuring, you might, I'm sorry, but we're not interested. Let's find a little bit, well, yeah. I was looking for grass. Well, we're not interested, because I like the party. Okay, well. Clear yourself. Ah. Blue Axel guard? My, some of these things. Get away from me, Ali Bakar. Gum, I will not have your filthy hands on me. Don't flatter yourself, Blue Axel pig. If I were to touch you, it would be to throw you out, and that's all. Do not speak like that. I serve the first noble family of trade me, nothing other than peasants. Laugh at your ignorance, fool. Laugh at me, this is not going to end well as my... Well, maybe we can distract them? I will do my best. Uh, I just fired him up again. Just firing him up again. Okay. Doesn't seem to be able to hit the other guy though. Yes, look. A good old friend. Yes, looks. And that stuff. And ah, uh, comes the dawn. Comes the dawn. Intrigue me. And these are 1990s. Um. Uh, high end cutscene graphics. Yes. Oh, well, now they like maybe don't get into it. Can you tell me? Yeah, here we go. What can you tell me about the feud? The Lord of Logan is correct. They stem from the same family anyway. Now, let's see the services. Okay, well, um, any interesting? With Joaquin, our patron, the goddess of trade gone, it is open season. The market's everywhere. Corruption, okay. I sort of spread this around to try to keep any one person from getting overly drunk. Okay, well. Now we've 
rest it up. Hopefully they stop fighting. No. Let's go through this. We gotta solve this problem. Critical mess. He's not a very good. Now, um, let's yeah. We can head over here. Such a nice greeting. Ah, uh, there is the hero tree meet come to see me at last. I trust that is all all's well, that pig. Scarman did not speak too harshly about me, I trust no matter he is a stubborn deluded fool. They both are why don't we get out of this house and leave them to their own squabbles? Our families have well why we don't Zahn is because we're meddlers. We meddle in everything. That's what we do. Didn't you know that? Our families have been at odds for generations. You see, the Ali Bakars refuse to acknowledge the fact that we are the only true noble family in trade meet, having found it, having founded it. And why would they think themselves higher than they are is beyond my ken. That's Scottish. Or Scots, I should say. Scots. The word ken. K E N. It means not, um, to know beyond my knowledge, beyond my ken. Be a ken something, it would be a you know. So it's like knowledge and know and whatever in one word. Scots is an interesting language. We don't talk about a lot of this stuff often. It is an actual language, Scots. I have personally in my life only met one Scots speaker um, that was a native speaker. I may have met a couple other academics who could speak it, but I mean, one person. Who and she could only, this is, I'm sure she's dead now, but she could, um, she only spoke Scots, and she spoke Scots to me, and I was with a friend um, who was European, and we were in Scotland on that day together, um, visiting a place, and um, she spoke Scots. Uh, it was very hard to understand. She seemed to be able to understand us, and she, um, uh, Obviously, you listen to either the radio or television or whatever. She wasn't entirely cut off. So she could understand English. I, she had understanding, a little un trouble understanding both of us because the other guy spoke with a French accent. I spoke with an American accent. So our accents were off. And it was really hard to understand her. Um, it was just sort of like, and I knew words like can and I knew some of the other stuff. Um, and we had about a... 15 or 20 minute conversation or more. So it wasn't just like, you know, five words to each other. Um, and so chatted about things, including she remembers as a child, or remembered at the time, um, as a child, uh, the bombings by the Zeppelins in World War I. That sort of tells you her age. She is, was back in the, the 90s, very early 90s. Um, so, you know, she was getting way up there, but she, as a young child, remembered World War I. And so that's sort of her background. And so she spoke Scots, which is different than Scottish accented English. Um, Scottish accented English often does have a few um, old Scots words like Ken in it, but um, it is its own language. It's an Anglo-Saxon based language. It has Celtic influences or Gaelic influences, however you want to say that. But it is a um, its own language that is, for the most part now, a dead language. Um, like I say, she grew up with speaking it. it she was lived rurally in the lowlands, sort of border regions of Scotland. Now, it's actually closer to England, but it's out in the way. Um, and it's really sort of dead as any sort of active language. Scottish Gaelic is more, um, more of an active language, and there's actually 
government support in Britain for the Scottish Gaelic TV language or um, language TV channel and whatnot and or, or stuff and so there's more of that but Scots is lost to us now as an active language I think it's all been recorded both as in book form and as well as in various audio recordings of the speakers so it's not lost to history but it's lost to a as a spoken language now but i did meet one woman who who spoke scots met a bunch of people who spoke gaelic yeah and english you know they were bilingual and they spoke um you know english with a highland accent as opposed to a but you're, most of us are familiar at least hearing the scottish lowland accent you know, which is was distinct. The Highland accent is distinctly different, and all that. And so those are all and all ver varieties of English. But that Scots woman, she really spoke that other Anglo-Saxon language. And, and it's not just. I mean, it's an offshoot. It's an offshoot of Anglo-Saxon. It's, I believe, much more than an offshoot of English. So it's not a, a form of English. It's a form of Anglo-Saxon derivative, which English is one of them. And you know, they split apart. That so interesting tidbit there. Okay, um, it's unfortunate, however, that my family never had actual physical proof of the truth of our claim. That has changed, however, a tomb has recently been uncovered and an old tomb belonging to my family that states there is proof right there in the trade meet under our noses. In the graveyard tomb here in town lies the crypt of the founder, my ancestor, with him lies the mantle of Joaquin, the pretty name for an old gold circlet. That circlet, however, would prove my claim once and for all and shut those Alibakars up. I would get it myself, but the tomb is haunted, you see. You are a hero. You might be able to enter the tomb. I will pay you 500 gold pieces. What do you say? Very well. We will try. Excellent. It is the key to the tomb, in fact. That we possess it is yet more proof of our legitimacy. Use it to enter and obtain the mantle, and return to me when you are dead. Okay, so we need to go get a mantle. Right? Now that is a pair of trade me crypt. Uh-oh, what do we see? What is this? Okay. Tona? Why are you attacking me? Where Minsk goes, Not that evil stands aside. It is done. Well, since you're being attacked, it looks like defend yourself. Okay, you didn't last too long, did you? Where'd you get that cloak? I want one, yes. Mm. Playing off an old joke. That was good in the first thing that's by now. Hopefully we'll sell that for some useful amount. Perfume, charisma, if we need a charisma bonus. That'll help with trading and some things, but never seem to use those well. It shall be. I do know that there are. Is this a named person or just peasant? Okay. We're going in there. There's going to be a baddie. We've been warned. Um, I sort of have a vague idea of what to expect, though with various mods it may be a bit more than I'm remembering. Likely um, levels of baddies. So keep everybody from running in panic. Panic. While I'm on the sort of topic of words and things, it's a very interesting word. Um, it is um, 
Sort of the state of pan. Because it's um, panic is um, pan the god, and at least um, some of the times when you play the pan flute, you may have seen TV commercials these in the past. Sort of the flute with a bunch of tubes on it. Um, again, the god of pan's flute. When he would pay, play his flute, at least I don't know if always or something, but the myths, legends, whatever that would be that um, it would cause chaos and um, fear and whatever. Hence, panic. So that's interesting. I think. Did we do the? Yes. Inside my shirt. Okay. Um, I'm thinking this might be a really big sort of baddie type. Can I kill the druid? Can I watch? Of course, we put that around him so he may or may not get. Um, and we're gonna blast our buddy. A couple of your yeah, magic items that give you that state. I killed a rabbit, rabbit. I'm experiencing. <laughs> And they also have rabies too. What is my task? I will do my best once again. Ah. Hi Merchant Logan Corporate. A moment of your time tree thought. I understand that you have taken a commission from the noble family to enter the tomb and retrieve something from it. I have no objection. The tomb has been a sore point for far too long. And if anyone can do something about that, I'm sure you you are the one. But I'm concerned about what you may retrieve, the mantlet. It belongs to an ancestor of two families, although each one is sure to claim it as theirs. This can only this can end only in bloodshed. I cannot offer the gold that the nobles have, but in the name of peace, I ask that you bring the mantlet at me once it is found. I will not force you to. However, perhaps things are not as bad as I fear, but I shall leave you to your actions and to your conscience. Okay. Okay. Yes. In many places. Mind if I tag along? Yes, and yes. Brief bit of comic relief is good, but ah, uh, yes. Okay, this is sort of kind of what I was expecting, and yes, a lick, lish, lick, triplish. Swords, not words. Okay. Well, um. Let's go and You're hack him. My sword while you can, I my won't be as gentle. Let's. Um. Well, we're going to have Minsk running in there, so. Nature servant awaits. Now, here is what I'm hoping here. Um, insect plague. Hopefully that will be a overwhelming disruptor. Let's give it him. What do you want? Uh, do we have better arrows? Magical arrows? Yes. Start putting some arrows in Are here. Are you sure? Gain contingency. Okay. What is that? Elemental. Now. What do you require? Like I 
said, I thought this could be challenging. Site active, and do we not have that memorized? Oh, we should have. After we got the contingency back, we should have switched back to it. Damn it. Okay. Well, at least maybe we can do that. all of that. Well, that's another lick. Oh, which we got two of them here, do we? Hey. She has true sight. Good. That's what we need. Oh, you stay out of the cloud, too. Reading for true sight, then we can see these glitches better. Protections. Now that you can see, okay. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, Dragon Fear, that's why we have. Okay, so we can't strike at him directly the moment with that. Well, um, no, let's just, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'll do it. They're going over there again. Oh, another time stop. Why is this getting you? 
here I forgot from under some of her penalties. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Okay, we we um load. Yes, load. Okay, well that means we've got to replay things, doesn't it? Um tell you what, we're gonna end the episode here. Why don't we kill uh, that and I'm gonna replay. And next episode we'll be starting at going back in at the Lish with better preparations and more Nukem type spells ready to go. So um See you next time for more adventures, exciting ones, I hope, in the Forgotten Realms. We just had an exciting one where we got munched. Yeah, we would have ended up dying. Um, maybe we can't take these guys down, but we will certainly give it a try. See you next time for more adventures.